Hi there, this is Bella Vasta, the PAC leader for Bella's House and Pet Sitting, and I'm here with Dr. Josh Sosno from North Scottsdale Animal Hospital. How are you? Good, thank you. So I've got another myth or fact for you. Um, I've heard that cats have a better sense of smell than dogs. Is that true? I think it's probably more myth than fact at this point. Um, in fact, I think it's fair to say that um, of all the senses, the sense of sound and sight are probably more important to a cat than the sense of smell. Interesting. Very interesting. And uh, we were talking earlier something about bloodhounds. Right. In fact, the only domesticated animal, in fact, the only dog that actually can be used to admit evidence into a court of law is the bloodhound. So if we're talking about nasal sensitivities, I think you'd have to look to dogs perhaps a little bit more than cats. But as far as cats are concerned, their sense of smell is incredibly important with respect to getting them interested in food. So when you have elderly cats or sick cats, if they really aren't attracted to their food by that smell, it can be very difficult to get them to eat. Fantastic. We actually have um, a bunch of uh, tactics that we use. Um, an uh, older pet sitter um, that I met years ago told me to take some of like the junk mail and roll it up into a ball and just throw it around and the cats like to bat it around and it smells like the ink and like wherever else it's been. And it actually works all the time. It's the cheapest cat toy that we've ever had. What are some of the other things you do actually to help entertain cats um, who come to sit? We also use laser pointers, which are hilarious and fun. Um, the typical whips, um, we like to brush them a lot too, because a lot of times they get really sad that mom and dad are gone. And um, you can tell they just get so happy when they're able to get brushed. So That's fantastic. Yep. So this is another episode of Bella Vasta and Dr. Josh Sosno. Thanks for listening.